In this video, I will show you how to create sheets. We now have the view frames created and we're going to create the sheets. Select the output tab and click create sheets from the planned production panel. Left click on create sheets and our create sheets dialog box will appear. In here, we just need to make sure we're on the right view frame group. In our case, there's only one in it, so it's this road one view frame group. We then want to make sure that our layout creation, we're going to have all layouts in the current drawing. So we're going to tick this box here. And again, we just want to make sure that we choose an arrow and the arrow we're going to be choosing is north. Select north and then go next. In here, we're not going to modify anything and just go next again. And the last thing we need to do is we need to select this choose settings. Select choose settings and then select profile view wizard. Within the profile view wizard, what we need to do is we need to set the information of the bands. Go down to the section on data bands. And in here, we need to update all of the profile ones and profile twos to the correct information. The station is our chainage. So we just need to make sure that's either reading existing or our designed profile line. So in our case, it's reading existing. The second row is the existing level. I need to make sure this is reading the existing level, which profile one is and profile two is. The next row is reading the proposed levels. I need to make sure this is reading the designed profile level. So in my case, that's going to be VP3. And again, you want to make sure that profile two is reading the same information, which is going to be VP3. The level difference then is the proposed minus the existing. So then our profile one needs to be our proposed, which is our designed vertical profile line. VP3, and then profile two needs to be our existing surface. And then lastly, we want to make sure that the vertical geometry is also reading our design profile line, which is going to be VP3. Hit VP3 and click finish. And then we can select create sheets. It's going to save the drawn, go OK. And then we just want to place our profile views well away from our site so it won't overlap. Left click and it's produ producing all of our layouts down here and it will populate our profile views up here. I can now see my profile views have been created. You will see that it's missing the band title, the band box and so on. If you type in regen all or or E, A, and press enter, all that information should regen and display. You will also notice that you have the tabs down here for all the sheets, and you should get your sheet set manager appearing. In my case, the sheet set manager did not appear, and to make it appear, you type in sheet set and press enter. Hover over the sheet set manager and you'll see all of your sheets are displayed in here. Left click or double click twice on one of these sheets. Inside that sheet, you will see that you have the type block and the plan and profile. I can see within my profile that some of the information is getting cropped out. So what I'm just going to do is double click inside the viewport for the profile view, double click, and you'll see that it's locked. Unlock, unlock that profile view and just pan it up slightly so we can see all that information in there. Then I can lock that viewport. And I can also see on the plan that our match line labels are not being displayed. So I'm going to go back into our model file. 
So we'll go back down here to the bottom left of the application. And I can see my labels are not within the view frame. So what I want to do is select the label. After selecting the label, you will see that you have this edit label group up here. Select edit label group and we want to modify both the left match line label style and the right match line label style. Select the edit button here. I'm just going to edit this simple style. And I want to change my X offset here to minus 20 instead of plus 20. And you can see how it jumped from there out to there and go OK. And the same then for the right match line label style. Go to the layout group and change the offset here, X offset to minus 20 as well. Go apply, go OK, and go OK. And now you can see that that information is in there. I'm going back to my sheet set manager, double clicking on sheet number one. And now I can see that label in there. If I go to sheet number two, I will see the label of the match line for sheet three there and the label of the match line for sheet two there. And it just fits in perfect. Again, I'll have to move up this profile view slightly because it's uh, nearly getting trapped there on the bottom. So I'm just going to double click and I'm going to untick or unlock this profile with this viewport and move it up. And then lock it then again. Now with our title block here, uh, we can change the name and we can change all the information in here. So the easiest thing to do there is we have the, we might just start off with the date. So I'm just going to put in a random date. So the date I'm going to put in is going to be the 1st of May, 2025. And in here again, or this is the new command that I haven't shown you yet, but we're going to use the gate command to do this. So if you type in G-A-T-T-E and press enter, and put it in the date of 01.05.25 and press enter. And then you get this number of inserts in drawings equals 11, process all of them. So what that does, or what the gate command does, is puts in this block titler, this edit, editable information into all the blocks. So I'm just gonna press enter. And then if I go back to my sheet set manager, double click on another sheet, and again, in here, I'll have to slightly move up this profile view, but I can see that that date's in there. So again, you can do that with all of them. So double click for drawn by. So type in gate again. Select the block. I would just say Joe blocks. And again, by using that gate command, by going to any other sheet, you will see that information in there. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually PDF this information. You'll also no notice under the drawn number that the project number, origin, uh, zone, level, type, role, drawn, that the drawn number is uh, reading the number of whatever the layout is down here. So it automatically picks up that number. To PDF the information, all we have to do is go back to our Sheet Set Manager. Hover over our Sheet Set Manager and select the first one and hover down to the last one. Hold down the Shift key and select the last one. Right click and go to Publish. And then just go Publish to PDF. Once you do that, you'll just have to save it somewhere and uh, go OK. Once you have PDF the information, it should display it like so. So you can see your plan up here, you have your north sign and you have your profile down here. And again, just make sure the information on the profile is correct, that it's reading the existing and proposed levels. So I can see the existing information here is higher than the proposed. So my proposed level here is 73 and my existing is 75. 
And then your level difference is your proposed minus your existing. So it's going to be a minus number down here. And then the horizontal geometry, we can't actually edit that anyways. But then the vertical geometry, we want to make sure it is reading our design profile line. And then again, you have to make sure all the information is updated there. And that is how you PDF planet and profiles.